Good evening, chat. Welcome to the landing pad. I am the chopper, and today we are doing an unboxing. So, we are going to find out exactly... Uh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Give me the gun. All right, we're going to find out, <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, I am the chopper. You are in the landing pad. If you are one of my people, you are definitely a lamb chop, and if you're not, come join the pad. It's a great time. We like to hang out. We can have a good time here. Um, so, yeah, so I've got this. I'm trying not to show you guys, like, the shipping label because I don't want to dox myself. So let's get this thing open see what's inside. Once I get it a little bit better here, guys, I'll be able to show you. Like I said, I just don't want to dox myself. All right. Safety first. Put that. Put this away. Okay. All right, guys. So let's find out what's in the fucking box. Boom. That's right, guys. We are upgrading. No more headset mic, just headset. I just accidentally muted myself, but it's okay. See, this is this is something we're gonna avoid now. Okay, I guess I need this again, so. It's one of those, like, they taped it, but it's still like, it like goes in. Okay. Can we? There we go. That works. Probably shouldn't be bringing the Mac towards myself because I just said safety first a minute ago. So I'm gonna move my hand down and start pushing it away. Okay. I think that's gonna work. Okay. Ba boom. we keep showing off the product as much as possible this is not a sponsored stream by the way so don't think that I'm like promoting it necessarily it's just an unboxing for me because this is an upgrade that I have been wanting for a while and finally found the right one that I liked with all the features that I liked so let's see this is the Roshat torch literally just came out I believe it was available on the 15th. I ordered it on the 13th and it got here literally today. Literally like a few hours ago it showed up. So, pretty good turnaround. Let's see, it's got mixer style controls, whisper pattern pickup, and studio quality. It's a, it's got an integrated pop filter, contactless quick mute, so like you just like swipe your hand over it, it's pretty cool. 24 bit audio, zero latency, dual condenser capsules, nice. And reactive RGB lighting and then there's three selectable pickup patterns which I believe is like wide narrow and then like direct something like that I don't know if those are the actual terms on it but it's oh and it's boom arm compatible almost forgot yeah it's got the AMO intelligent lighting since and since I've got a Rashad keyboard uh, it should pick up the swarm um, swarm um, program yeah the software 24-bit audio, mixer controls. Yeah, I, I like that it's boom arm compatible because if I ever upgrade to a boom arm, I can literally just ba-boom. <laughs> ba-boom, get it? All right, so this box now goes back with the rest of my boxes. See, there's the keyboard box right there too. All right, back to the product. Alright, set that aside, pull this out, it's actually not very heavy, that's kind of nice, I thought it, thought it might be heavier to be honest with you, okay so that's where I can set, so right back here, it's got the, like I said, you guys can see that, the three settings for like wide, narrow, and direct on this little toggle, I'm probably going to go with the um, direct, 
just so that it doesn't pick up like a bunch of stuff outside of um, me talking. There's like a gain control on it, pattern, I'm not sure what that does. You know what, before we get too much further, I want to actually look, she's a beaut, just like you. I think my eye just had a spasm, but yeah, looks pretty sweet. All right, so let's, I want to know what that pattern thing does, because obviously like, like I showed, the things on the back is the directional, I'm almost positive for that, but... We'll just open up the uh, open up the user guide to make sure. Oh, I can just throw it in the box over there. Quick start guide. Okay. So the contactless quick move. Oh, that's what it is. It's a distance adjuster. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So that means okay. So that was actually I was wrong. So that's actually the quick mute, the contactless quick mute distance adjuster. So like close, medium, far. I'm going to go, I'm going to, let's see. Well, I'll test it out at close. I'll test them out and just see which one works best. Um, okay. I've got a couple of cords here. Let's figure out which is which though. I believe this one's going to take me to the PC because it's the USB and then the other. I think this one is just really, like, if you were, like, um, I'm pretty sure this one is for, like, your phone if you were, uh, like, a IRL streamer because it's, and I think this is the same way, it's just shorter. But, making a lot of assumptions for somebody who has a book in front of them. <laughs> PC setup. Okay, okay, okay. Connect the torch base to your PC using... Yep, yep, got that. Okay. If your device is not automatically connect... Okay, it should auto... Okay. When powered on. See, there's no power cord, which means it's... Must just pick up... Does it just pick up the power from... Whatever you plug it into? Must. I don't see what else it could do. Oh, here we go. Master. Okay. Microphone audio pickup patterns. Okay. So that's what that is. So the patterns, you have stereo, which is the first one here. Ideal for capturing live instruments, vocals, ASMR, anything you want to capture increased definition and depth. Okay. And then there's cardioid, cardioid, perfect for any solo situation, whether it's streaming, gaming, podcast, or web calls. Okay. And then there's whisper. Great for when you have to be at your quietest, but still need to be heard. Ideal for nighttime, uh, nighttime use when gaming, chatting, etc. Okay, so we're probably going to mostly stick with cardio and maybe whisper. We might go to whisper, but for now we'll just stick with cardio because it says that's the best for streaming, gaming, and all that. Okay, master volume, I see that, okay. Okay, I'll just keep that like right in the middle for now. And then gain, I'm not really familiar with gain, so let's... Use the gain slider to adjust the uh, output broadcast volume. This is the level at which your receiver hears your voice. Okay. Tune your gain level visually using the reactive RGB on the side of your torch. The higher the LED bar, the louder you will be to the receiver. Okay. So. Makes sense. All right. Uh, I need to. Actually, I'm going to put these cords in my cord drawer here. I'm going to kind of weave it so that I don't lose it. But I'm pretty sure this is like if I were to do like an IRL, I could connect it to my phone and just carry that around and have much better quality than just my phone. Um, or if I were one of those like people that did the like street interview kind of stuff, it would probably have a much better audio quality. Um, I think I'm going to keep on to it, hold on to this because it'd probably be good to keep the product protected if we ever move it you know what I mean so I'm gonna hold on to those just put them back in the original box I'm one of those like box hoarders like this is the only thing that I 
do not throw away. I still have my box for my PS3. Like, just because, and I still have my PS3. You know what I mean? Like, when I, if I move or whatever, then I have something safe to carry it in. That's how I look at it. It's protected that way. Okay. I'll put that box back there. Okay. Side tone hardware. I don't think I need that. What's this? I think I need to plug it in first, guys. I don't think it... I think it literally gains power from whatever it's plugged into. Or maybe it has, like, a battery life. Because if you can plug it into your phone, that would drain your phone super fast, wouldn't it? I would think. I would think. All right. We're going to get real close and comfortable here, chat. Oh. I'm knocking my own stuff around now. Okay. Oh, and I've got it backwards. Of course I do. This is the PC end. Okay. Now the big question is, can I find... Oh, I've got... Okay, cool. Well, that's... Let's see, it says Flash BIOS, but I should still be able to... Can I still use it? I should still be able to use it, right? Alright. It did say plug and play ability, so. Oh, I just heard it go off. Did you guys hear that? Okay, I've got to mess with this cable, though. Because I do not like where it's laying. It's a little up in my space. Okay. So now. It's plugged in, so I. And I know I, I heard it, like, connect, so let's just open up Swarm. Let's open up Swarm and see. Can, can I open it? There we go. All right, and then uh, let's just do this for now, guys, so you guys can see. We have detected a new device. Uh, oh, it's only supported by Roshat Neon. So, so it's not Swarm. It's Neon that I need. Okay, so let's just download. Let's download Neon. Um, hello. Let's see. The new driver software from Roshat gives you a, a single modern sleek design to configure and optimize uh, supported Roshat devices. Okay. So... Where's the download button? Okay, I need the okay. Oh, because it's for the the headset and the mic. I got you. So download now. Enter product name. Torch. Download. Boom, boom. Here, you guys don't. I don't know if you guys really need that or not, but create desktop icon, add icon to Windows Start. Yeah, launch Neon on Windows Start. Yeah, I probably need that. Yeah, yeah, because I'll want it to launch so I can use it every time. That scroll is me just reading the user agreement. <laughs> Nobody actually reads that. You could literally put anything in there. Nobody would know. Okay. What's this? Oh. It needs permission to download. Okay. Okay. 
active lighting. Okay. Okay, well you guys can't see that. Obviously I'm not doing that. Oh wait, that's a contact. This is okay. Global settings. What's okay? I don't understand. Your devices. Hello? Hmm. Let's try something here. Hmm. I don't I don't understand. I don't want to contact you. I just I just want to set up I just want to set this up. I'm not really Okay. Like, I mean, is that, what is it? I don't understand. Do I connect it up here? No. Oh, I bet you that's what that, I bet you that's what this is for connect the base yeah see that's what that little cord was for was to connect the base to the mic that makes sense now okay so now I think it Okay. Hello? I think it's picking me up, but it's not, um, <clears throat> it's not quite, you guys don't hear it yet, obviously, because, well, you know, I don't have it set for that. So let's, so let's do that. Let us choose, uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Properties. Torch. Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello. Looks like the mic is working. Does it work on all the scenes? It does. It works on all the scenes. Let's fucking go. You guys hear me all right, though? Anybody's out? Is there anybody out there? It looks, it looks like I'm getting some good sound from it. See if I do this. Oh yeah, that's way too loud. I'm gonna pull the gain back. Let's see. Uh, hello, hello, hello. That looks like a pretty good. Guys, what about now? How am I sounding now? See, it even like buffered that a little bit. Okay. So we've got, and then what? Did that mute it? And now it's live again. Heck yeah. All right. So this is going to be friggin' sweet. I'm excited, you guys. I'm really excited about this. I don't know. Um, like I said, I hope I hope it's working. Oh, this is controlling. 
What the hell? That, is that controlling my, my headset volume? Yeah, because this is... The gain is... Yeah, that's what I want right there. Hello, hello? You guys there? Can you hear me? And it's picking me up just fine. I think we're good. I think we are a good. I think we've got it. It looks it looks good on my end. I can see the mic reacting properly. Um, it's picking me up. I mean, I'm sitting I'm sitting kind of way back. It's I can still see the mic picking me up. I'm sure I don't sound as loud now. But where I'm sitting here, which is where I normally sit to game, I'm getting some good gain uh, on the mic. So I hope it sounds good, you guys. Uh, I I can't hear what it sounds like to to you guys, but hopefully it's pretty sweet. I'm all excited about it. Um, I'm sure that I will continue to give you guys updates as far as um, how it continues to go for you know from here on out. Once I once I have like um, once I get like a little bit more um, use out of it, I'll, I'll definitely be able to give you a better review. Like all right, right now though, like that <laughs> that was pretty freaking simple. Once I realized that I just had to plug the bass into the mic, I wondered why that was like that. It makes sense though. And then I'm sure that there's like when you do the boom arm, it's probably like completely different at that point, but because you don't need the bass, so you probably just plug it straight into the back. But it's, I mean, it's lighting up for me. I know you guys don't really see it, but it's lighting up for me. And it's, um, I can see it hitting the mic audio on the, on, on, um, OBS. So looks good. I think, uh, I think we're happy with it right now guys so stay tuned for more updates about the Rashad torch um, but for now we're gonna leave the just chatting section and get into some GTA